Greetings from WBCS New. Good morning. Well, it is morning here at the minute. Um, today we are going to not talk about the standard Rubik's Cube. Um, I've seen someone post one of these the other day, so I thought I'd dig this out and have a bash at it again because it's been a while. Um, so, someone mentioned that uh, what, what this is basically a mirror cube, as you can tell, it's got its shiny reflective sides. And you, you're probably looking at first glance thinking, what's the point of that? Because at the end of the day, they're all the same colour, um, so turning it wouldn't make a difference. But these are sort of offset. If you look at a standard cube, see how we've got long bits, medium and short. Uh, and same with this side, so you can see a big difference there. So like right up in the corners where the main turning point is. So as you can probably guess, um, as you start turning this cube, it deforms. And that's, that's where the trick becomes and um, so if we do it an L2 there for example yeah, it's it completely makes the cube mesh up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to I'm going to try I'll say um, to set up that scramble and then what I'll do is we'll walk through a solve and just show you how you do this or you how we can do it, I should say um, if you are really good you can do full C fop or whatever or Roo, if you really think you're that good um, but it's not as easy as you think because you have to obviously get the right size block into the right size area. It's as simple as that. When you see how badly it goes or how deformed it gets when you do do the scramble. So we'll do a scramble. Um, I am going to do the scramble with the smallest parts to the front of me. Um, just in case you, you have got one and you want to try your followers. Um, so we shall do it like that. Um, and I know uh, we'll get started and then we'll... we'll talk you how I do things me personally anyway so let's do this this is always going to be fun uh, they're not the easiest of cubes to turn and that's that's half the battle with them so bear with me while I just get this right if possible One, two. D2 B prime Ooh. R D U 2 F prime U2 L prime U2 R2 F2 so as you can see now <laughs> this uh, uh, if you compare that with a standard Rubik's Cube you can see why these are fun um, uh, very similar like ghost cubes are another one as well that's another uh, one that de deforms itself and th there's quite a few of them now there's there's loads of them that there's been a spurt of deformities appearing um, but these these are probably one of the original sort of deformers apart from like the um, the octagon cube which was a barrel shape and that, that deformed that was probably one of the first ones if I, if I recall um, the first ones actually had a different shape other than a equilateral cube okay so we're going to go through the solve um, what I tend to do I tend to work on the biggest piece first and I will try to find the corner piece, the biggest corner piece, uh, just because it sticks out like a sore thumb compared with all the other ones. You could go for one of the middle fat pieces, uh, which also stick out, as you can see, they stick out quite nicely. Um, so what you're trying to do is you're trying to find out where these three sides are going to align and measure up perfectly with one of these, and this is a good starting block for you. Um, so I would have a look and see which one is at the right height. Yeah, sometimes it takes a little so I've got a right height here so I know I'm in the right place for this one I just need to find out which corner I need to be in uh, and that one and that one so that is in the right place so now what I need to find is I need to find out which one's going to go uh, let's have a look I want the longest piece so I want all the biggest pieces down so this is the way orientation I want to work so I want 
the last edge to be the small flat edge is because it's easier to work. It means you've got more grip here when you're solving the top. Um, so I like to I like to have that grip. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to try find an edge piece for both of these slots, uh, and then try to build the, the bottom layer up basically. So we're trying to solve the the first layer. So we shall try to do that. And that's obviously not that bit. Definitely not. Um, so I'm looking for the bigger bit. Right. So I'm looking to see which way. So that one fits there. So that one must go in here. Okay. So we we'll do standard sort of things. You can do slices and stuff on these. They work exactly the same as a ruler cube. So I've now got that piece in. Okay. So that's two of them. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get this one in next if I can find it. Uh, I presume that's it. No, it's not. That's or it might be the wrong way around. No, it's definitely not the wrong way around. I think that's actually this one. Um, let's try that one. No, it's definitely not that one. Ah, it might be that one here. So let's just try that. Aha, there he is. So that's that one. So good thing with this one is I can just do a slide like that. Put that one in. Right, so we have now got my first block, as it were. Woo! First block. Um, so I'm going to carry on and put the other ones in if I can find them nice and quick, hopefully. I know I can see a big block here, so I'm going to flip this round and see where it goes. <laughs> They're not the nicest cubes as well. You've got them. They've got very little cutting on them, if at all. Um, now I'm just trying to find out which edge this one is. This one is here, by the looks of it. That's in the wrong place. Anyway, so that's good. That, that, that one actually goes over here. Um, so I've got this edge piece in. Uh, this corner piece looks like it's in the wrong place. That one looks. So let's just put that over there. Um, the easy way to find out if you've got the right piece is obviously this bit's at the right height for this. And then you just move this down, go, well, that definitely goes in there. So I could just then finish off the move. So I've basically done a sledgehammer for that and put that one in. Okay, so I'll keep on carrying on. I can see the big block here. So I'm assuming this is just going to be straight in. No, it's not. Okay. That's not the one I thought it was. That must go in here then. That's going in there. Well, this is bloody interesting, isn't it? Right, I'm just trying to make sure I've got skinny on top, haven't I? No, they're skinny. Right. I want this one here. Uh, trying to find it. Where are you? Are you it? Let's have a look see if you're it. Just got to bring this down. Nope. God, uh, where are you? Where are you, you little bugger? Um, I'm trying to see where I've placed it. <laughs> it's it's hiding. It's hiding somewhere. I know it's hiding somewhere. I just don't know. That must be it there. Let's bring this one out. Ah, there you are. So, that one looks like it's that one. No, that's a short one. That's one of these two sides here. There it is there. You can see the frustration now I think this is actually the one I want I think by the looks of it it's just in the wrong way right, so I'm just gonna put them M slices in let's just rotate aha there you are so what I'll do is I'll just move that out the way do an F2 and bring that up with an L prime so now I've got this and I've got this one so I want to get this corner piece in which is quite slim so I'm assuming it's this one, which it is, okay. So the good thing is you can do F2L. So what I'll do is I'll put this one back here. And I'll do an F2L insert, which is nice. Okay, so that's them paired up. Uh, so it is good. You can recognize certain conditions and you can reduce the move count. So there you go. Let's see if just putting this corner and then putting the edge back in or, or messing about. Um, so I'll carry on putting these ones in. Uh, let's have a look at this. Try and see what we've got here. That one looks like it's this one. It's not that one. That's where are we? That's quite large. I'm just make sure I've got the small one on top. That one must be this one here then. It's just the wrong way around. So let's just do a rotate. It's not as easy as you 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 would think. Uh, I'm trying to see where I am here. Yeah. That way? Yeah, we're done. So it's not as 
when you've got colours, it's much easier to figure out which way you're supposed to be pointing. Um, again, we've got this here, um, and I know this goes in one of these two slots, so I'm going to play it now. So all you got to do is you've just got to rotate it and see if it lines up. If it lines up with that edge, then you do the, the edge insert, whichever way you like to do it. In this case, I'm doing my standard. I'm going to do this beginner method with my Stanley method. Um, for the top and stuff because I just don't want to mess it up if I can help it. Um, so it's a narrow sort of fat little corner for this one isn't it? Which is going to be this one here. And again I think this is actually the wrong way. By the looks of it. It is. Right there we go. And we want this piece in here which is not too bad. We've got this bit. I'll just make sure. There it is. So we know it matches, so we can insert it. Finger trick, oh yeah, I did a finger trick. Right, uh, so we've nearly got it all done for the F2L side of things. Obviously this bit needs to go in here, and that goes into there. We don't need to look around because that's the last one. But these are all the skinny leftovers. And that's another reason why I started with the fat end, because you can see as you get through the cube what you've got left is a lot easier so we've got all left to l done and the cross obviously otherwise we'll be bumpy and lumpy um, so from here we've got half across so i would do me half across perm me oll for that uh, do it it's not so easy to do that will give me the full cross now i check to see what alignment i've got which is much better on this one, you're not looking for colours, so it's quite easy because you just keep going around to go, right, that doesn't match up, and that matches, and that matches. So I'll do it soon from here. Got lots of edges to grab hold of for, for your finger tricks. Uh, so I've got a cross. Uh, now I just want to make sure I've got, oh, I've got it lined up as well, so all the edges are correct. Uh, I think I was doing that anyway, wasn't I? Yeah, silly me. I, I forgot where I was. Yeah, so I've just got the cross orientated, so it's now lined up. Now I just need to get these edge pieces in the right places. Uh, looks like this one is correct. Uh, and these three are wrong. This one needs to go here. So I need to do a rotation around this way. So I would do my normal rotation. Which is the second part of EPIRM, in my case. So now... This wasn't right. These are all in the right. Actually, I think that one's actually too short, isn't it? I think that one's supposed to go in there. So that might be my bad. So I've got that one right. Okay, so I've got this one right. I need to rotate this times two, or actually, I'll rotate these down and so put this in the right place. I think. God, it's so confused. It's hard to say if I've actually got it right or not, but it doesn't look like I have. Um. Yeah, that one's a shorter one, isn't it? That one needs to be here. So what have I done there, then? What have I done? So if that one needs to be there, these two are definitely wrong. So this one must be right. And this one's wrong. Right. Okay. Eh? <laughs> which one's right, which one's wrong? I don't think any of them are right, are they? Right, I'll tell you what. Let's just... Let's see where I need to rotate. These two need to... I need to rotate this one to here. So I'm going to do this one again. Sorry, to you. I'm sorry, fans. Uh, right. So this one is now here. Uh, this one, these three. That's uh, right. This one needs to go here. So I'm going to do that again. So now they are all in the right place. It looks quite jazzy. That looks like way. It looks a bit transformers, doesn't it? Transformers, robots in disguise. So, well now I've got that, now I just need to figure out what orientation I need to do. Which I think it's front headlights on this one. So I think front headlights. It is. And then reverse the maneuver for the second one. Okay, and I'll rotate it around and make sure I've got it right. So we've got those two right, with the last pair now. Uh, I'll try it again. I think again. I am right. Undo. And there we go. Oop. And it's 
we're on the block a few times sold so yeah you can see what sort of fun this is um, you, you, I am using just an LBL method um, I did a little bit of F2L in there for one insert I think um, M slices so you can do everything the same as a Rubik's Cube it just plays a little bit more with your head because you've got to analyze like gaps uh, and sizes and stuff out which takes a little bit longer um, but yeah compared with these things which obviously we are just looking for colors we're not looking for anything specific we're just inserting colors for example like that whereas this it's like you're trying to measure up what you're doing as well so and that's 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 what the difference is so there we go um Do that bit in there. Oh, and then do that bit in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. Uh, try and see what I've got. I'm just messing about. Just right. Um, but there you go. There's the mirror cube. Um, you can see why people are quite fascinated by distortion cubes as such, or transformer cubes, whatever you want to call them. It's more like a transformer, isn't it? It looks looked like a transformer at one point. Um, they're just, they're just a different aspect to go down uh, and it just goes to show you can solve it using standard methods um, you can use OLL and, and PLL if you can visualize it well you could obviously set up a skip if you could visualize it but it's not so easy when you haven't got the colors uh, and that's what, that's what you rely on and on standard cubing is the colors to, to work out what's, what's what so there you go that's the mirror cube um, good fun gives you a bit of a headache at first but once you get an idea of how to start a solve on it it becomes a lot easier and um, like I say I tend to go with the biggest block and do a block build around that and then work your way around the, the bottom edge and then F2L and then finish the top because uh, the tops are easier to, nice and small and easy to spot uh, as I said it was as I struggled trying to get these the right because these are when they're, when they're twisted again because of this perspective and and things like that it's something that doesn't look like one would fit in the right place and yet it just shows you you can not see that for looking so there you go that's the mirror cube enjoy and uh, obviously before i go obviously please like please subscribe and please share uh, especially on facebook and stuff like that. it's always good see you later